Sorry, I was running laps around the LHC. Well, it's that time again. You have asked me a very nerdy question, and I'm gonna try to answer. How fast does the Flash have to be to launch a rocket? At Amon Pretender asked, if the Flash ran out of the back of a rocket, would he be able to propel it into orbit single-handedly? Well, if you're not familiar with rocket science, the superhero may not seem like the best fuel. Yep, human flesh is definitely not great rocket fuel. But there is a way that Barry Allen would be able to launch a rocket just by running, and the only limit on this ability would be his speed. First, let's give some parameters to Amon's question. Let's assume that by launch into orbit, Amon means just escaping the gravitational clutches of the Earth. And to do that, you need a lot of velocity. What's called escape velocity, to be precise, and it's surprisingly straightforward to calculate. Hold something above the ground. It now has gravitational potential energy because gravity wants to pull it somewhere that it is not. Now drop that object. As the object falls, that potential energy is transforming into kinetic energy, the energy bound in movement. If you set these two equations equal to each other, one for gravitational potential energy and one for kinetic energy, you can solve for escape velocity. And escape velocity is how fast you have to go to escape the surface of something with gravity. On Earth, that's 11.2 kilometers per second. This is how fast our rocket would need to move to get out of Earth's gravity, but how would the Flash accomplish that? With rocket science, duh. Rocket science is held up as the example of how hard science can be, but at the heart of it is one very simple principle. If you throw mass out in the opposite direction that you want to go, you go forward in the direction that you want to go. Equal and opposite reactions, right? Rockets do this with fuel, we have to do it with the flash. We only have Barry, so the amount of mass that we can throw out the back of our rocket is limited to his mass, just 88 kilograms. That's fine. Modern rockets have a fuel limitation too, and they make up for it by throwing all that fuel out the back of them very, very quickly to achieve escape velocity. And we can find out how quickly using a very, very famous rocket equation called the Tsiolkovsky rocket equation. This equation calculates how much velocity you can add to a rocket based on how much mass is coming out of it how fast. If Barry runs out the back of a rocket slowly, for example, it hardly budges, but if he engages the speed force, this equation should give us the slowest Barry has to run to launch a rocket. Hey, what's, is that a battering? Bruce, I, I'm not the Flash. How many teens did you kill to find, to figure this out? If you rearrange the Tsiolkovsky rocket equation to solve for exhaust velocity, or how fast Barry would have to run out of the back of the rocket to achieve escape velocity, then all you need is Barry's mass plus the dry mass of a rocket, how about a Falcon 9, and the escape velocity on Earth. There, easy. To launch a rocket, the Flash would have to run out the back of it at 1,620 kilometers per second, or four million miles per hour. Now, in reality, it would have to be much, much faster than this because of air resistance, but Barry would have to run at least this fast. Now that we have our number, does this make sense? Could the Flash run this fast? Well, the Flash is so fast that if he was running towards you, he could change the color of his suit from red to purple just through blue shifting. So, yeah. I'm pretty sure he can launch a rocket. So, if the Flash ran out of the back of a rocket at 0.5% the speed of light, he could propel it up past Earth's gravitational grasp where it'd float gently off into infinity. And those speeds are at least canonically possible for Barry, so I guess it's up to Elon Musk to let us try this out. Come on, Elon. Maybe one of those reused ones? You're not doing anything with it right now. It's for a very important reason. Because, wait, I'm supposed, oh yeah, because science. Thank you so much for watching. At Very Narkid asked, can a giant railgun in space work like Mass Effect relays? Um, not really. 
We, uh, a railgun is just a way to uh, magnetically accelerate some projectile to crazy high speeds, like an appreciable percentage of the speed of light. Uh, from my understanding, what a mass effect relay does is it lowers, it, it decreases something's mass so that it can travel close to the speed of light or closer to the speed of light because to get to the speed of light, you need an infinite amount of energy if you have mass. That's why photons are massless and they travel at the speed of light. So a mass effect relay would have to be something a little bit different than a railgun. But that sounds like a great idea for a future episode. All right, nerds, I learned this from when I did my Quicksilver episode. It's like, nobody's faster than the Flash. The Flash is the fastest, dude. All right, fine. Let me put it to, into perspective for you. The Flash, at least theoretically, from what we know about physics and the comics together, the Flash is so fast that he could punch you yesterday. Yeah. Tell that to your... Forums.